what prompted me to do this uh, video is um, a article and the article is on a disturbing subject which is um, about uh, Dr. Alberto Giubilani's uh, and uh, Dr. Francesca Minerva's article on um, infanticide. So it is going to be a topic which I would warn people that we're going to cover the topic very um, expansively and uh, it, it's, it's not a subject that we should take lightly. Um, if you've looked at the title before clicking on this video, um, then the title needs to be explained because I never want to set off um, talking about a subject without fully explaining what I mean by those words or what those words actually mean in reality. Okay, so um, ethics. Ethics is a study that came from philosophy. Originally, we think of um, ethics today as uh, a very solid set of principles which were which we run our society by. It's it's not just an empirical science in that uh, empirical science is like um, physics, um, which studies the material world, or chemistry, how our chemicals inter interact with each other um, or biology how life forms and uh, and interacts with it, it, each other in sort of a matrix of um, of different actions and information being passed between living creatures as I said in my um, video on the Imperium of plants sea of grass and the evolution of, of higher social intelligence um, so you can check that out uh, to talk about the the growth of a sort of trade system in evolution um, but empirical science is based on the idea that you have uh, an inkling of some logical um, point of view that's going to produce something but not necessarily um, have any idea about what it's going to produce you know it, you could say you could say I believe that if I melt iron it will become uh, and mix in alloys it will become steel and something like that it's absolutely able to be proved empirically you can rem you're removing the margin of error over time by increments but the, the conception of uh, the scientific method is that you're always wrong in that in that sense. So that comes from uh, sort of the same ideas as the uh, Epicureans, the Roman Epicureans, who believed in that you were always wrong, but you could you could use logic to to work things out. And of course, the Stoics believed that you could, if you didn't attempt to find out as much as you could, you would never learn anything. So You've got to go outside the cave and uh, sort of go into the world and try and find out as much as you can. So it's that tension between those two things which sort of started off um, a lot of the the progress uh, of science. But the other key point of uh, of ethics is also um, about philosophy, and which I hinted on about with the Stoics. Most people can understand the idea of uh, Stoicism um, from Marcus Aurelius, you know, who's, who was famous in, uh, famously depicted in many plays and films such as, as Gladiator and everything else like that. Um, but also uh, another guy called Epictetus who was uh, a slave and the two people, being an emperor and a slave, were miles apart in terms of where they were in, in their economic power, but they saw themselves as equals intellectually. And that is it very important to um, understand 
in terms of the, their thinking process, they had to re rely on only what was rational. Now, of course, um, what do I mean by rational? I mean that, um, you know, if two things are claimed to be um, equally valid and then they're tested and one proves to be more valid than the other, then the one that is less valid is not logically the truth. You know, the one that is most valid is the truth. Um, and then philosophy goes on into, into the realm of ethics to say what should be. What We've got the science and philosophy have given us a context. Life gives us a context, you know. Um, what, the, what technology we have now to sustain uh, life is far greater than what the Romans had, yeah. And there, of course, in terms of the subject that we're trying to cover in, in terms of uh, as a society, and what I'm trying to cover in the text that I've written, in reply to um, what uh, Ron Paul's uh, video, which gave, which prompted this response, um, is that it's not quite, it's not it, the the whole process of trying to preserve life has has gone in increments, you know, um, and I don't want to use emotive language uh, because it's not our emotions themselves, but how we interpret them that really makes a, uh, makes a difference as to how we act, you know. You can be angry about a certain context, um, a certain event, it's how you deal with that and then how you use your choice, your uh, free will, to decide what you're going to do. But it's the job of ethics, in a sense, not academia, but ethics for, for everybody, as we are all human beings, um, to decide what should be. You know, So there are normative statements, but they must be governed also. Uh, a normative statement is what should be or what shouldn't be, uh, but they must also be governed by reason. Yeah, so these these people in this article have put forward an idea that what of what they want, and I'll explain why. Okay, so as I've, as I said in the title, it, the title is referring to the use of Western rationalism as a tool, and that's that's what I'm going to go forward with um, in the article because there is, uh, you know, I, I've got to stay within uh, both the the science that I'm familiar with and also the, the cultural knowledge that I'm familiar with and culture is a, a system of ways to solve problems, okay? Perhaps somebody who's... Um, Japanese could speak about Japanese rationalism, but I'm a Westerner, so I'm going to use Western rationalism. You can criticise me for that if you want. Um, <clears throat> now, what do I mean by uh, totalitarianism? I think more than broadly thinking about it as a as a form of government or a or a tool of tyranny or something like that. It's it's the the idea that you're um, trying to take life away from people or the choice about their lives or it, it's a, a domination of one idea over all others and I don't really think that Western rationalism or democracy could be have that charge put against them you know um, we, we have a, we have a sort of a, a, an ability to debate things you know um, and and draw conclusions from it, from what we we would like to think, and also from our choices, and and also what is can be empirically tested. And I think beyond that, people start to uh, get to a consensus, okay, about what sh what should happen. 